So you're currently looking at the virtual cabinet landing page. Along the top, you can see a ribbon of the last 10 documents that you as an individual user have been looking at. You can flip through the pages, turn them round and see them in 3D view. You can see the index information behind there. You click on the document, you can open it, email it, print it, and do everything that you pretty much expect to do with a document normally. As you can see at the moment, I'm on a full admin license, so I have privileges as such as a delete button, but we can remove that as we go through the installation with Virtual Cabinet. Underneath here, I've got save searches. So if I'm regularly working on a hot file, I can click save at any time and it keeps it there on my homepage as a quick reference where I can click it once and go straight to the file I'm looking for without searching. This landing page is just an area where you can carry on from where you last left off. Three places you would mainly go to in Virtual Cabinet would be the Scan tab, if it was your function within the business to do any scanning. Your in-tray, which is a replication of having a physical in-tray on your desk, so we can route, post, and pass documents between ourselves very fluidly. And then your search button, once you've filed a document away, you'd like to retrieve it back, you can click on the search to go and find your documents. So now I'm gonna click on the Scan tab. So we can perform the scanning in a number of different ways. If you've currently got multifunctional devices in the office, we can connect to those. You can walk up to the devices, you can scan to a network folder, and Virtual Cabinet will be monitoring those folders and will withdraw the documents out of the folder and place them within your in-tray in Virtual Cabinet by the time you've walked back to your desk. If you're using small desktop scanners, such as the Fujitsu devices, we can connect those with a Twain driver. So basically you can use the Virtual Cabinet interface to do your scanning direct from your desk. As you can see here on the left-hand side, anyone with a Virtual Cabinet license will have their own in-tray. So you can scan directly to yourself or any other the user within the business, including groups, so you can have multiple people all accessing the intros at the same time. In this case, I'm just going to scan a document directly to myself by clicking the scan button. That performs that action, and as you can see, it's taken an image of that document and has placed it into my intro. Scanning can be a very laborious task, as every document comes into the business, there are a different number of pages. So what we do within Virtual Cabinet is we give you a document separator sheet. It's a generic page that always looks the same. So when you're opening the post naturally, you can drop one of these sheets in between the start and the finish of each letter. And as we scan them through, the software will realize that the document separator sheet is the break. And then they will scan the documents through, through to your in-tray as just post one, two, three, four, and so on. So if I go across to my in-tray, now you can see that I have seven documents currently sitting in my in-tray. So as I said earlier, your intro is exactly like having an intro on your desk. The idea being is that you have a nice big document preview over the left hand side, which you can zoom in and out and see all the multiple pages behind there. If you're using double screens, you can grab that preview and you can dock it across onto another screen. The idea being is you can skip through these documents as if they're on your desk nice and easily. As you can see on the right hand side, there's a number of intros. So in this instance, I would like to pass a document over to Mark. It's a simple drag and drop process. So I'm going to drag this document over across to Mark's intray, let go. And in this instance, I could just press send and that will route the document to Mark. But if you are passing paper across the business, maybe you'd like to add a sticky note. So Virtual Cabinet enables you to deal with that. I can also include an FYI by sending a shortcut to someone so that we're not duplicating the document and they can follow that hyperlink from other people's in trays, review the documents and then delete it when necessary. So I'm just going to press the send button. So now I've gone from seven documents to six documents in my in tray as if I've physically moved the document from my in tray to Mark's in tray. So if we assume the position of Mark here, he's now looking at his in tray. He can see the copy of the document, but clearly with the visual reference of the sticky note. So if he was to click on that note, he can now see from me date and time stamped and any message that I might have left him. Mark can now add further notes to the document. And these notes are fantastic because they can be added at any time. It's not just when you're routing the post. If you go into the filing cabinet and you want to add a note against the document, you can do so as a visual reference for the next person that comes in to look at the document. There's plenty of security around the intrays. So in this instance, if I was to click on Alison's intray and I'm a junior member of staff, you can see that any privileges have now been revoked and I can't see anything within her intray. You can have groups of intrays, so you can have multiple people all accessing more than one intray at a time. One of the key areas of Virtual Cabinet is we give you lots of reporting so we can manage the bottlenecks within your business. So if you have the right privilege, you can click on the reporting tab 
And a very simple report here is the intro report. So that would give you a bird's eye view of anything that hasn't yet been filed in anyone's intros. In this instance, maybe there's a build up in Carl's intro. Maybe he was off sick. So you can go and take that work and go and distribute it to someone else within the business. Okay, so I have a number of documents in my intro here. And to file them away, it's a simple drag and drop process. Over on the right hand side, I have a number of different filing cabinets that I've customized for the demo but I can only give one example in this case. So if we use the accounts folder, but please can use your imagination that actually, no matter what type of business you're in, we completely customize this to suit you. So in this case, if I want to file this document away, I drag it onto my accounts folder, and then the first thing it asks is, what type of document is this? So again, we have a customizable drop-down list that we designed for you. We can change any of the naming convention in here. So if I just call this one a sales invoice, and then in this case, I have a drop-down list of any customers or suppliers. So I'm gonna use that, to tick one off. I can complete any of the index fields here, which again can be customized for you, and then just go ahead and file the document away. Thank you.